It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Private Brewery Gessner and it's a bottle of their Alt Sambacher Dunkel. It's coming in at 5.2% ABV. In a 500ml bottle, been brewing since 1622. Here's a look at the swing top cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Expecting a big pop on that beer then, but it did give us a little bubble and a little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Let's get the beer out into a glass. Look at this. Looks lovely. Ooh. Oh, that'll do. There we go. Big fan of the Dunkel style beer. Big fan of it. Love a dark beer. Um, I love the the way the Germans produce the dark beer with the lovely yeasts that they use in the beer, uh, the darker malts they use in the beer. We've got a two to three finger, slightly off white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. <clears throat> It's, I'm almost to the point where I want to say it's stout-like in terms of the colour, but it's just, if you have a look at the bottom of the glass here, or maybe even, maybe even here, you can see that there's a little bit of light bleeding through into the glass, and that's what I'm looking at with my own eyes. The camera is picking it up slightly different, but you could, that, that, deep dark golden colour down the bottom. That's a better representation of what the beer looks like. It's got great carbonation. Can you see the carbonation? Yes, there you go. Lovely carbonation rolling up the glass. Let's get into the aroma then. A slightly hazy beer. Yeah, I mean, the more and more I drink German beer, the more and more I just want to book a flight. I just want to go and spend two weeks or a month there just sampling their beer. Just incredible. Just absolutely incredible stuff. Malty, bready, biscuity, nutty. but with a slightly jammy, kind of plummy. Fig flavor right on the back end. It smells really good, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. That is absolutely fantastic. It's really quite fig, plum, dark fruits on the back end, but then you get them beautiful. It's a mixture really of the, the German yeast that they're using in the beer. A slight kind of estery kind of fruity yeast and just the dark roasted malt that they've used in the beer that slight chocolate that slight caramel
It's got a fantastic body. A creamy, rich body to the beer. I've been to Germany to Meisel and friends and I've I started on these beers in the afternoon. Now I went there, Meisel and Friends is the craft department, if you like, of or craft brewery of the bigger Meisel Weiss brewery, the, the Meisel brewery in Germany. And I spent, they wanted me to drink all of their craft beers, Meisel and Friends, all of their IPAs and pale ales and imperial styles. Okay, yeah, I had an imperial style, of course. But I'd never had authentic German Weizens and Dunkels and I'd never had them on tap. So I was there three, three nights, three nights I was there. And I spent 95% of my time drinking the Dunkels and the Weiss beers. Because I was just like, this is just like milk. But for me, that's dangerous. That's dangerous because I start, you know, I start about two o'clock in the afternoon. And it just, it just goes down like milk for me. It, it just, it just slides down and, and, and you could just find yourself drinking pint after pint, you know. And of course, you're their guest. Yeah, they guess so um, there was a beer festival on so they, they just said go to the bar and and help yourself type of thing and it was just just amazing absolutely amazing I'll never forget it I will never forget that weekend Lisa beer Lisa beer is there Liza beer is there um it's the 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 big kind of craft brewery Meisel and Friends thing that they have. It's very much like a big American style open plan craft brewery thing that Meisel and Friends have. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant place. I would definitely go back, definitely go back. But anyway, all of that, this beer reminded me of all of that. Just how it's almost nourishing. It's almost you know you can taste the, the 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 malts and the biscuitiness and the nuttiness and the hops. And it's almost like a a wholesome. What it is, it is a wholesome drink. You feel it. You feel it with German beer. You feel that kind of wholesome flavour that's going on. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do like a family holiday thing just to, just so I can get to visit all of these wonderful breweries in Germany. That is a terrific beer. Bready, biscuity, malty. A little bit of chocolate flavour from the malt in there. It's plum and fig and prune. Brilliant stuff. What do they say? Can I read anything on the back of that bottle? Um... Brew tradition since 1622, special malts, I think it says on the back here. Um, can't really work it out, but the private brewery Gessner. Brilliant stuff, love it, I love that swing bottle top as well, where they, they recycle the beers, they, put, they clean them out the bottles and they put beer back in. Brilliant stuff, okay. I love it. Absolutely. Look at the way that the look at the lacing on the glass, and look at the way I rock the beer back and forth. You can see that carbonation of chasing the head of the glass. Oh, brilliant stuff! Nicely carbonated, a little bit rich, lovely biscuity. I like this alt. Sunbacher Dunkel by Brewery Gessner. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Little Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up.
Tschüss.